Hello guys, and welcome to another episode of Dark's Kingdom. Uh, Mischief's Mo 3.1 was released about two days ago, and in this video, we're gonna cover the key features and some of the findings after the test. Uh, so that being said, let's get started. So the new Mischief's Mo 3.1 is a multi-model, uh, and also it supports multilingual. It is a SOTA model, and it has a patch 2.0 license, which is great. So from the benchmarks, it has outperformed um, GMA3, uh, Cohere, Aya Vision, NGPT 4.0, and Claude 3.5 in many of the benchmarks, including Tax Instruct, Multimodal Instruct benchmarks, uh, which is uh, Vision, and also the Multilingual benchmarks, and the Long Context. So if you go to the Hugging Face Instruction, it has also the benchmarks as well, and the key features is Vision, Multilingual, Agent centric, advanced reasoning, Apache 2.0 license, context window system prompt, and tokenizer. So it's a different tokenizer. It is a Tekken tokenizer. And so if you look at the uh, files, so you can see that uh, the tokenizer is a little bit different. So that being said, let's continue. Um, to test it, there's a few ways. So, first one uh, is to use the VRM. So if you use the VRM, uh, with the safe tensors, so it's going to require a lot of the memories. So uh, about 50 gigs of VRAM. So you can see these uh, files. So it's about 50 gigs of VRAM. Um, and you might want to also tweak the parameters, but you can also use the GGUF. Uh, still, you need the tokenizer. And um, from the official repo, then you need the tokenizer mode, which is Mistral and low format is Mistral. Uh, you also need to call parser if you want to use the function calling and make sure you enable auto tool choice and also the tensor parallel size uh, equals to two if you have more than one gpu then rest of the parameters are very similar to other videos already demoed feel free to check those out if you uh, do not understand what this other parameter does and so but if this vlm setup uh, with the ggof does not work with the vision uh, so, if you want to use Vision, you need to use either the non-quantized model or use the offshore API, which is going to uh, demo today. Um, so that being said, let's continue to Olama. So if you do not know how to set up Olama, uh, I'll have a few tutorials for that. And also, the link is in the description. Feel free to check those out. And so we already set up the Olama in the C3 F5. So you can see that um, So this is already running. And the models we use is the uh, quantized 4B model. So you can see that it's for uh, Mistral. So you can see that it is 4-bit model. Um, and let's go to the Open Web UI. So if you want to try it, the best way is to use Open Web UI. So we already set up the Open Web UI. If you do not know how to set that up on Kaggle, so I have few videos for that in this channel as well. So just search for Open Web UI. You should be able to find it. Uh, so we already set that up. One thing to notice is that um, so you do need to set up the initial API configuration. So uh, just go to the Open Web US environment file. Uh, make sure to set up the Open API base URL as the Mistral API slash v1, which is Open AI compatible. Then make sure you paste in the Open AI API key. So that should be it. And then after you configure all these parameters, uh, you should be able to. Uh, use the Open Web UI uh, with Mistral. So I already test uh, some of the use cases as, as you can see here. So I tried it with the 3.1 API and also the GGUF uh, quantized 4 bit model. And to summarize it, so the original non quantized model works much better than the quantized model. So uh, so this is something that we uh, should be aware of because the open um, model somehow uh, the quantized version has a little bit uh, drawbacks. Uh, for example, uh, the GGF model does not support vision. So um, if you look at the first test that we run, so you can see that it says uh, we cannot view or interpret images directly. So which means it does not support vision in the GGF, but for the tax instruct, it works okay. 
um, and also for the 3.0 API, uh, almost all the questions that we tested are working correctly. So if you, for example, if you uh, try the vision, uh, so this is a receipt, and then you can see that it parsed the receipt correctly. And also we tried to ask questions on the receipt, like what's the password, it also answered correctly. So then we asked the uh, original Istro Small 3.1 uh, API, what's the capital city of the country whose name ends with HIA? Ideally, this would be Shakia, but it says a different name and it is not correct. So then we asked the how many A letters in the word Alibaba. This is not also, uh, this is not correct. So, uh, and then we asked it to create a landing page for crypto, a crypto trading company. As you can see here, uh, it actually did a good job. So if you go to this section, you can see that it actually did a good job. It also added a trending chart for the uh, the coins, so uh, which is very nice. So overall, I think the original API uh, worth a try, and it is uh, a economic and good model. So if you also go to the next one for the SVG testing, so we also try to to generate SVG code for a flower. So you can see that is a flower, but it's not that great. Uh, it's just, uh, but it is a flower. So, and uh, so overall, I think um, the best way to try this Visual Smooth 3.1 uh, is through the API. So it is also pretty fast as well. Uh, so let's go to the GGUF because as you can see, the Quantas model uh, does not support vision, but overall the text instruct uh, is okay. And you can see that uh, also the answers for the country whose name ends with HIA is Greece, which is not correct. And for the Alibaba kind of four letters, which is uh, supposed to be three letters. So this is not correct. But for the landing page for crypto, crypto trading company, this is uh, okay. So if you go to the artifacts, you can see that it is okay. Uh, it is okay, even though it didn't actually put the real time market trend, uh, those charts. But overall, I think the layout is okay. And uh, if you go to this SVG code that we also tested, uh, it is a uh, uh, kind of like a flower, but uh, overall, I think uh, the API still performs better than the GGUF version. So the GGUF version we used is from the uh, Bartoski uh, version. So it's from Bartoski uh, Mistral uh, GGUF for the uh, 3.14 bit. So you can see from here from here yeah so uh, we use part of scheme is show ai mistral small 3.124b instruct 2503 g2f so uh, 4p version so uh, and so this is um, basically a good economic model so also it has apache apache 2.0 license so which is also are really good uh, and so that's it so uh I think this is a good model, especially you want to develop something on top of it, and it should be a pretty good uh, choice. And you can see that it is pretty good on the benchmarks, as I mentioned earlier in this video. So uh, feel free to give it a try. And if you do like this video and think it's helpful, please subscribe, like, or comment. If you have any questions, thank you so much for supporting the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.